And welcome back. Still to come this morning, well, you could be mortgage-free for 2003. Yeah, and we find out if the kitchen gadgets that we've been road testing all morning are just gimmicks or a real godsend. But now it's uh, all happening in the soaps this week, and here is uh, is our Jackie. So you're going to forget my name then. <laughs> it's a dodgy moment. Never, ever <laughs> in a is. million years would I do such a thing. <laughs> let's uh, let's do the should we do the gossip first? Yes, Just a bit of goss. Uh, poor old Richard. Looks like he's going to meet a grisly death in I mean, it's, it's to be expected, really, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, because there's only so long you can have a serial killer on the loose, isn't mm. there? Mm. And oh, he's been so great, Brian. I mean, last night. <laughs> the killings and all. He's great because he's really camped it up and he's been so funny. It'll be a huge, huge loss. And he's clearly case. worked very hard at it and done it very properly. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's just so much humour that he's managed to bring to it. Mm. And it's great when he says things like, uh, how are you feeling, Emily? <laughs> <laughs> all that stuff. It's just been wonderful. So, sorry to miss him. And uh, Les Dennis going into yes. Crossroads, checking in. a psychiatrist. Well, he's got his work cut out there, I can tell you. <laughs> As they always do in the Crossroads Motel. <laughs> uh, that's terrific. Um, and East Enders. Enders. Uh, Lucy Sorry. Benjamin. She's going to go back so that so that they're going to film the, the murder so fans can finally learn how yeah, Lisa how died, actually died. What happened to Lisa? Did she die? Was she push, pushed? Did she find a shop that sold a coat that she didn't have to wear for five years? <laughs> and she had to in East Enders. They're claiming that they've shot two different endings. Yeah, do you they think they really say do? This. Uh, I don't think they do. They can't afford to shoot one, <laughs> let alone two. And also the stars want double the amount of money then. So mm -hmm. I suspect not, mm -hmm. but uh, another one to look forward to in East Enders. All right. Okay. Crossroads. So, five o'clock last night. <laughs> Turn right. on the telly having it's tea. It's great. They've brought it back. They've camped it up so much. It's just so hilarious. And Emma Noble, actually, was very, very good, she I was. thought. And she looked gorgeous. Yeah, fabulous. Oh. I mean, th th you can't move for the chests there now. I mean, it's like all the Himalayas have just descended mm -hmm. on King's Oak. All these enormous breasted women. And it just looks like Dallas now. And there was a it only took 11 minutes for a murder. 11? Yeah, That's 11 right. minutes, That's first murder. And where's the body? Under the statue, outside the fountain. <laughs> and you know it's going to be a while before it's discovered, but it's there, waiting all the time. <laughs> It'll be there long after Crossroads' acts. But Emma... <laughs> <laughs> How can you say that? You're going into it yourself. <laughs> oh, yes. It's a couple of minutes since we mentioned my acting role in Crossroads again, <laughs> isn't it? We've got Emma Noble, uh, who is being paid off uh, as a character, Susie, to disappear. You and I know there's a price for everything. Five grand. Enough for you to get well away from here? Start afresh. What's this? My golden handshake? We both know your stay here has come to an end. You're all scared, aren't you? <laughs> Take the money and pack your bags. He's more like Larry Hagman. Yes, it's, it's absolutely Larry Hagman. Yeah. Isn't he? he played the magician in Jonathan Creek. That's right. That's right. And I always thought it was a phony accent, but it's not, is it? No, obviously not. The difficulty with starting something like this, brand new series, a whole new look, is that you've got to set a lot up in the first few episodes, haven't you? Yeah. So it's going to be busy for a few days because yeah. you've got to get everything in place. Yeah. And okay. they've got to prepare all these months now for when I appear in Crossroads. Did I mention Are I you was appearing in Crossroads? <laughs> Moving on As to a East Enders. dancing <laughs> champion. <laughs> Moving on to East Enders, in which I've never appeared, and nor am likely to. Uh, poor old Laura, she's having a tough time with Ian. And I think he's been very hypocritical because because he was the one who slept with Janine and paid her money to have sex with her. Poor old Laura has a one-night stand with Gary, mm. and this is how he treats her. There you go. That's what I paid her. How can you be so cruel? Cruel? I'm being kind. Laura, nobody wants you around here. You're hated. Yes, that's right. Hated. I hate you. The Slaters hate you. In fact, the whole square hates you. So why do you want to bring a child up in that sort of happy environment? I don't know. Get out of my I way! I haven't even started yet. You thought you could sleep wherever you like and get away with it. You got caught, didn't you? And now you've ruined two relationships. Not that you can call what we had a relationship. Because I was just slumming it with a local slag, wasn't I? <laughs> Do you know why I had the snip? Do you know why? Not because I didn't want any more kids. I didn't want any more kids with you! Oh. Local slag who dresses like that? I don't think oh. so, love. <laughs>
<laughs> Do, is she leaving the series then? I don't think so. No, no. Okay. Next, we've got to see the baby being born and everything. Oh, yes, of course. Which, uh, uh, Emmerdale. Emmerdale. It's the case. Well, the, the inquest. And uh, poor old uh, Louise is very, very worried because, of course, it, have you noticed how many murders there are in soap these days? Mm. Well above the national average. Mm. So <laughs> she lost her boyfriend and now she's deeply worried because will they find out how he actually died? Mr Mullen's contact with the wood of the stairs and banister as he slipped resulted in minor head injuries and facial contusions, as listed in the report. Uh, findings also consistent, I should add, with the presence of the broken vase. The actual cause of death being a broken neck sustained during the course of that fall. Uh, just a few more questions and then we should be able to bring these proceedings to a close. Detective Inspector. Can you confirm that it was Miss Appleton alone who first came upon the deceased, Mr Mullen? I can confirm that, yes, sir. Based on Miss Appleton's statement, she was alone at that time. She's looking very guilty in well, court. I was going to say, if I was a cop in soap, I'd go, it was you. <laughs> yes. It's like... I didn't. <laughs> so Richard in Coronation Street, you know he's a murderer. So he keeps going behind corners, putting on those black leather gloves. Like, <laughs> well, it's him. <laughs> it's him. It's the man in the gloves. Putting Gail's necklace on and his hands shaking. <laughs> anyway, talking of which, shall yes. we have a quick look? Well, also, Corrie is the only soap that has more than one copper. Because in all of the others, there's only one in a raincoat. And Coronation Street, bless them has drafted in a lot of extras, and here we see them all going to aid, uh, who Richard, of course, has framed for the murder. Where were you last night? Here. All night. Well, my social life's not what it was. I asked you a question. Most of the night, yeah. Why? Because a young woman was murdered just across the road. That's why. John. Yeah? Get one of forensic lads in, would you? Aye. You found something? A carrier bag on what looks like a load of stolen gear. Oi! Hey! Get him back in here! Right, easy, easy. Well, it's not to do with me. I don't even know what's in the bag. It's not my stuff. Oh, it's probably the biggest goodness. part those extras have ever had, is it? We're going into the street. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Jackie. That was nice absolutely fantastic. You. Now, it's time for Clutterbuster. Every week we're going to visit one of your homes with help from the Queen of Clean, Carol Osborne. And we will transform your home from a maddling, muddlesome mess to a tidy and tranquil utopia. Good Be job very careful done. if they see you with a bin liner around you. They try to put you in a bin liner. They should have straightened that duvet cover as well. Oh, yes. Cool, you're a bit... Pernickety, aren't you? <laughs> right, still to come this morning, we'll be giving... I bet you're all the Schofield Tower. No, I'm not, just watching the film, watching the film. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be giving you the chance later on to have a mortgage-free 2003. Plus, we find out if the kitchen gadgets we've been road-testing all morning are just gimmicks or really a godsend. See you in a minute.